So let's talk about the properties of logarithms. Uh, today we're going to talk about the product uh, quotient, power, equality, and identity properties for logarithms. So the first one, product property says, if you have a log base B of some uh, product M times N, you can split this up into a sum of two logs with the same base as the original log, where each argument of your new logs are just the uh, factors of your original argument, so M and N. So let's say you had something like this, log base three of five X. So if we have this log base three of five X, we can split this into a sum of two logs with the same base. So log base three, um, and then it's just gonna be the factors of your original argument. So log base three of five plus log base three of X. This would be um, applying the product property. And this actually works in the other way as well. If you were given a sum of two logs with the same base, then you could combine them together to get uh, a single log by using that product property. So the quotient property is similar in that if you have a log of some base and you have a quotient, m divided by n, you could split that log into a difference of two logs. Each of them would have the same base and then the first log, the numerator in your original argument would become the argument of your first log, and then the denominator of the original argument would become the argument of your second log. So if you had something like, let's say, and then this also works going backwards as well. So let's say you had um, log base two of six minus log base two of three, you could put this into a quotient, say log base two of six over three, and then reduce that. And so you would end up with something like this, log base two of two. And this is far easier to evaluate than this entire uh, difference here. And then that would also work the other way. You could express log base two of two as this difference, log base two of six minus log base two of three. Uh, the power property says if you have a log of base B and then in your argument, your argument is being raised to some power, M to the A power, you can actually take the power and move it to the front and express it as a factor. So some number times the log of base B of M. So let's say you had something like this log base three of x to the fifth, maybe. So we could take this exponent and we can move it to the front. This would be the same as five times log base three of x. And that's the power property. Um, the equality property says if you have a log, uh, if you have two logs with the same base that are equal, then their arguments are equal. And that's similar to the exponential property where you have two exponents, exponential expressions that are equal with the same base, then their exponents are equal. This is the same idea. Um, identity properties. This says if you have a log base A and in your argument, the base of your argument is the same as the base of your log, then that log evaluates out to be just the um, power of your argument. So log base a of a to the x is equal to just x. And then another identity property is dealing with an exponential expression. So if you have an exponential where the base of your exponent, uh, the base of your power, sorry, is the same as the base of your log that is in the exponent, then it's just equal to the argument of that log. So these properties are important when trying to evaluate logs or simplify log expressions, or if you need to solve logarithm equations.